Hi, this is Rick Anthony, and welcome to the Someone You Should Know podcast, the podcast that spotlights the stars of yesterday, today, and tomorrow. So sit back, relax, have a cold one, and get ready to meet someone you should know. Welcome to episode number three of the Someone You Should Know podcast. This one actually took place while I was on the air at Rock 1065 in LaPorte. We were getting ready to announce a uh, big event that was happening that evening at the LaPorte Civic Auditorium. It was a new project that my friend Jim Peterick happened to have called The Cornerstones of Rock. It's a fun interview I want you to listen to, especially his Tales from the Road when he talks about the Ides of March opening for Led Zeppelin. Here's that interview right now on Someone You Should Know. LaPorte's Rock Station, the Rock 106.5. It's Rick Anthony. have the great honor of talking with a gentleman who's actually going to be in town tonight. The gig at the LaPorte Civic Auditorium is called the Cornerstones of Rock Tour. It features a lot of the mainstay bands that you know from the 60s on Chicago radio. One of them happens to be my dear friend, Jim Peter. Jim, welcome aboard. Hey, Rick. Good to hear your voice again, old friend. <laughs> good, good to hear you, too. I'm really excited about this project you've got going on here tonight in LaPorte. It is uh, your band, the Ides of March, along with the Buckinghams, the Crying Shames, the uh, Shadows of Night, and also the New Colony Six. Was this your idea, or was this uh, someone else's idea who wanted to pitch the whole thing to you? Or wh- how did this all come to be? Well, it really started in, in uh, 2013, and, and Cornerstones of Rock was my concept to bring together the real cornerstones uh, of Chicago rock from the 60s and early 70s. And it just built and built. In, in 13, we, we cut a, a PBS special that just went viral and crazy. And we sell those every night. It's an amazing DVD. Sadly, a couple of the, of the people like Gary Luiso, who was so, so great. That was his last show, but he was documented there before he he passed away. But the cornerstones keep on rocking. Awesome. Very good. Any, any interesting stories to date on uh, on this new ensemble as far as any fun stories? Every 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 band that comes on tells a fun story, whether it's the Ides of March. You know, I tell the story about, you know, hearing a vehicle on the radio the first time, and I nearly went off the road <laughs> Go, going south on I-55. But everyone has their own little anecdote to, to add, and everybody is, is not afraid to talk to the audience and make everyone feel like it's a big party. It's funny. You're actually one step ahead of me because that was the next question I was going to ask you. You grew up in Berwyn. You'll probably listen to WLS, and you heard vehicle playing for the very first time on LS, and you, you just said it right there. You were, you were cruising down 55, and all of a sudden you heard on the radio, and it's like, oh, my gosh, I'm on the radio. <laughs> I- I know, it's like that thing you do, you open the window, that's me, that's me! <laughs> I know, it's weird, Jim, because I'll, be, uh, I'll be driving around town, and I do a lot of commercials on, on the station here, and the, I'll hear, hear the, myself blurring out of the guy's car stereo next to me, it's kind of funny. <laughs> I, I know, it, it, never go, it never gets old. It, it, yeah. You know, one thing, uh, Rich, that I wanted to add is that, not everybody knows, but sadly, about two months ago... Um, we lost Jimmy Sons, the unbelievable front man of the sh- Shadows of the Night, who was wow. always just a, just such a spark plug in every show. And we're going to have a special tribute to Jimmy. Oh, wonderful. Featuring, uh, featuring Dirty Dan Buck of The Boys, who is a crazy man himself. <laughs> Sounds like my so, kind of guy. <laughs> yeah, my, yeah he's, he's a party animal. So, I mean, what better guy to do a tribute to the ultimate party animal Jimmy's signs of the shadows of night. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, years ago, you and I talked about some road stories. One of the things that I used to feature is something called Tales from the Road, and that was your funny road stories and such. You told me a long time ago when Ides of March first broke out and you were going on tour, you opened for Led Zeppelin. Can you share that with our audience? Oh, my God. I'll never forget that night. That was our big, big break. You know, opening for, for Led Zeppelin in Winnipeg, and we had the, the set of our lives, you know, and Zeppelin came on, and they're, you know, haggard and road-weary, and, eh, you know, they were great, but they, the Eyes of March stole the show. So, <laughs> uh, Truth I, I be said, told. <laughs> I mean, had to say it, but, you know, after the, after the show, we're, we're in the green room, and um, uh, we were invited, Robert Plant, to come to their party in, in the Pendown Suite at the hotel we were staying at. And, of course, 
we're there. We're there. We knocked on the door, and the door opens, and there's uh, you know Robert Plant in his little bikini brief, <laughs> and in the background there's like an orgy going on. Okay, I mean there's pillow fights with half naked uh, females. It was amazing, <laughs> and and I had to take a, take a, a well, I had to go to the bathroom, so I went in the bathroom. Well, I, I, I went out really fast because there were some things really weird happening between Bonzo and a certain female in the bathtub. Uh, and, you know, I learned a lot that night. <laughs> it was a growing experience, a growing experience. All right, folks attending tonight's gig should expect what, Jim? Uh, a great, great time. We, are, we have so much fun, and yet we take it really seriously. And everything, you know, Tom Duty's flying in from the West Coast. The most amazing voice ever of the Grand James. I wanted to be Tom Duty. Cigarettes nice and all things nice. You know, he just had that ringing <laughs> right. Irish tenor. Right. Uh, you know, and all the groups. New County Six. I will always think about you. Just an unbelievable songs. Ronnie Rice. The Buckinghams. They do their own set as the second set, and then we all come on stage. At the very end, awesome. and we do Bend Me, Shape Me as an homage to uh, the late, great uh, Gary. So it, it's just a, a really, really great show. Awesome. Looking forward to seeing that tonight. Before I let you go, there's something I want to share with you, and I want to say thanks to Scott May for doing this. Okay, Scott orchestrated uh, this interview, but he also orchestrated something else. Before I did the interview with you, a couple of days ago, a mutual friend of ours was one of the very, it was actually the very first guest on a brand new podcast show. I'm reviving the Someone You Should Know program that I did for All-Star Radio as a podcast, and it is it is called the Someone You Should Know podcast. My very first guest is a mutual friend of ours, Tim Cavanaugh. Oh my God, Tim! I love uh, Tim. Like I say, is the very, he was actually the fifth guest I ever did on Someone You Should Know. He's the first guest on this program here, and he and I featured Vehicle Man. Can you tell uh, me a little bit about your your take on getting asked to do this and actually performing this with Tim? Yes, well, Tim is one of our dearest friends, and of course, a really close friend with Scott May because he's a. Uh, he accompanies a lot of comedians, but Tim is number one. And uh, he approached me with doing a, a parody on Vehicle. And uh, I said, well, because it's you, absolutely. And uh, it's gone viral. I mean, this, this is such a huge thing as every relate to us getting a little older, and now we're not cruising for chicks. We're taking our kids to school, you know, right. or our grandkids to school. <laughs> Uh, we love Tim. Jim, it's been always, it's always a treat to talk to you. I'm not sure when the next time we're going to do this, but I really look forward to seeing you. And I invite everybody to come on out to Laporte tonight and check out a great, great concert. It is the Cornerstones of Rock Tour in Laporte, and uh, you're going to have a great show, right, Jim? In Laporte, great. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it, Jim. I love you. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> Hi, this is Rick Anthony thanking you again for listening to this episode of Someone You Should Know. Now, if you're an aspiring musician or an established musician that's looking for a little exposure, I invite you to drop us a line at someone you should know podcast at gmail.com. That's someone you should know podcast at gmail.com. Also, I invite you to tell a friend about the Someone You Should Know podcast. I thank you for tuning in this time and I invite you to check us out next time on the Someone You Should Know podcast, because you never know who's going to show up. Until next time, remember, God loves you, and so do I.